Hello Wrestling Mayhem Show. This is my review of Brad Armstrong versus The Great Muda on WCW Saturday Night, two out of three falls. What can't you say about this match? What can't you say about these two competitors? Brad Armstrong with such a unique movement, Great Muda with an even more unique movement. This is a battle of footwork and technique and just beautiful wrestling. I mean, this, this is art. This is what you look at when you think of wrestling is art, not some of today's stuff. This is what you look at when you think that. I mean, it's, it's, it's beyond a lot of stuff that you see today. It's perfect. It's down to technique. I mean, this is such a battle of wills. Um, a two out of three falls match that ends in a shutout. You don't see that very often. And this was just a, a great example of just bam, boom, and pow, and right there. Catching something out of nowhere, catching uh, just a, a finish out of nowhere. I mean, hitting that moonsault so beautifully was such a beautiful combo. You know, so much today you see these three hit combos, the boom, boom, and then boom, almost. It almost does the job. This did the job. This is how some of these matches should end. I mean, this was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, what more can you say? The Great Muda does such fantastic ring work and technique where he... He has that Roman knuckle lock and he rolls through and then he does the Northern Lights suplex and rolls straight through so fast that you might not even catch exactly what he did. I had to watch it myself a couple times for something that I may use later. And something that I borrowed from Brad Armstrong is those beautiful headlock takeovers. This is a, a story of leaving the feet, both for the belly to back suplex and the headlock takeovers. What did you guys think?